Hello my friend, happy to see you here on my channel and today we have a really great challenge x cubed minus 300x equal to 2961. And let's solve this challenge, let's find our x. First of all, I suggest you to find the factors of this, of this constant on the right hand side. So first of all, what do we have right here? We have 2961 and let's find the factors of this uh, constant on the right side. First of all, how can we find this constant? First of all, let's divide this constant by 3. We can do this. So as a result, if we divide this constant by 3, we have 987. Okay, 987. Right now, once more, let's divide this constant by 3. So what do we have right here? We have 329. And we can, we can divide this 329 by 7. And as a result, we have 47 right here. So we can also divide this 47 by 47. So as you can see, this constant equal to a product 3 times 3 times 7 and times 47. And right now let's check a factors. Let's check these factors in this equation. So first of all, let's write our factors. So our factor, our factor, and let's check it real quick. So what do we have right here? 3, 7, and 47. Let's start with this one. So we have 3, we have 7, we have 47 and maybe we have more factors but let's check let's check real quick these these factors first of all let's start with 3 okay first of all let's start with with 3 if we check 3 real quick what do we have 3 cube 3 cube minus 300 times 3 which is equal to 2961 and obviously this is not a correct expression because 3 3 cube equal to 27 so what do we have right here 27 minus 900 yeah right here 900 equal to 2961 okay which is absolutely not a correct uh, correct solution which is not a correct a great factor for us a correct x so right here we reject this so x equal to 3 this is not a great case for us let's check next one okay what do we have next one next one we have 7 so let's check 7 real quick so what do we have right here we have 7 cube we have 7 cube minus uh, 300 300 times 7 equal to 2961. Uh, 7 cube equal to 343. So what do we have? 343 minus 2000. Right here we have is 3300 times 7, which is equal to 2100, which is equal to 2961. And obviously this is not a correct solution because um, this is no way that this is a correct. This is wrong wrong expression right here so we reject this this root also if 3 is a factor and 7 is a factor we can easily check 21 for example a, a product so 3 times 7 also will be a factor this is not all the factors we have more factors right here so 3 times 7 we can also check right here as a factor so we have 21 let's check it real quick so what do we have right here we have 21 21 cube minus 300 times 21 equal to 2961. Let's check this factor. Let's check 21. Maybe 21 is a great factor for us. 21, 21 cubed, this is 9261. Minus 300 times 21 equal to 6300 and equal to 2961. Let's check it real quick. And for me personally, this is a correct so correct case, yeah? If you subtract this one from this one, this is a great the great case for us. So x equal to 21, this is a great, a great factor. So we can easily say that x minus 21, so x x minus 21, this is a first parenthesis that we really need to factor all the expression in the beginning. But we need to find another parenthesis, another this parenthesis. And of course this is equal to zero. We need to find another another parenthesis. Okay? So right here, let's divide this expression in the beginning by this x minus 21. This is one only way that this, uh, that we find another parenthesis. So what do we have right here? Let's divide it right here on the, on the right side. So what do we have right here? In the beginning, we had x cubed minus 300x, 300x, and minus 2961. And we divide all of these by, by this expression. As I told before, we divide by, by this expression x minus 21. Okay, so x minus 21. Okay, let's multiply this expression by x square. Okay, so if we multiply this expression by x square, what do we have? x cubed minus 21x square. So we have x cubed minus 21x square. Of course, right here, subtraction, subtraction, so we can easily subtract our, our expression, this one from this one. So what do we have? 21x square from here, okay? 21x square minus 300x from here, minus 300x, 
and of course x cube and x cube we cancel okay minus 300x and minus 2961 okay really great right now what do we multiply well, we multiply it by 21x because we have x right here and if we multiply by 21x we can easily cancel with this 21x square okay so plus 21x if you multiply it we have 21x square so we have minus 21x square and of course 21x times 21 we have minus 441x okay really great and the last step right here we need to we need to subtract it we need to subtract this expression from this one and as a result we have 141x 41x minus 2961 and of course we need to multiply it by 141 so 1 4 1 4 1 if you multiply it we have 141x minus this constant okay so minus 141x minus this constant so as a result we complete this division right here this is equal to it is which is equal to zero so we find our second parenthesis this is really important a really important moment right here so let's write this this expression right here so what do we have we have first parenthesis x minus 21 and the second parenthesis what do we have x square plus 21 x x square plus 21 x and plus 141 Okay, we find two parentheses, and of course this is equal to, which is equal to zero. And right now this is equal to zero, or this is equal to zero because this is a classic case when a product equal to zero, then this is equal to zero. So right here we have equal to zero. So let's start, for example, with this, with this uh, right side. So what do we have right here? First case: x square plus 21x plus 141 equal to equal to zero. Okay and this is our second case let's separate these parts right here okay so what do we have we have right here this quadratic equation so let's find discriminant for example real quick so discriminant equal to so what do we have 21 square so b square minus 4 times a times 1 and times c 141 141 which is equal to so what do we have right here 21 square minus this one which is equal to minus 123 and the discriminant is negative so it means that this is a complex solutions right here. So discriminant is negative. So it means that right here we have two complex, two complex roots, two complex roots right here. And let's find this root real quick. So it will be like our mm, second and third root. So because this is our x first. So what do we have x second and third, which is equal to what do we have minus b minus 21 minus 21 plus minus square root of our discriminant minus 123 and all over 2a which is equal to which is equal to 2. so right now let's separate this part from here and let's simplify these complex complex roots what do we have right here we have minus 21 and let's write this minus uh, this square root of minus 123 as square root of minus 1 times square root of uh, not square root like 123 so we just separate this minus right here we write this minus as minus 1 and all over all over 2 okay all over 2 which is equal to okay let's continue we have minus 21 minus 21 plus minus right here we can easily split this square root okay we, ca we have square root of minus 1 and times square root of 123 all over all over 2 okay all over two which is equal to so this is our complex unit complex uh, variable so this is equal to i so as a result what do we have minus 21 plus minus i square root of 123 and all over all over two these are two complex complex root what about real roots right here we have real roots x minus 21 so x x minus 21 equal to zero so from here our x first equal to 21 our x first equal to 21 okay so let's write our answer we solve this challenge so we have our answer our answer x first equal to 21 x second let's go with plus sign equal to minus 21 plus i square root 123 over 2 this is our second complex root and the third root we have x third equal to minus 21 
minus i square root 123 over over 2. Okay, this is my solution to this challenge. Uh, I hope you understand this explanation. Also, write your question down in the comment section. I try to help everyone. And I hope you will enjoy this video. I hope you understand something. I hope you understand a lot in the same way, because uh, there are a lot of approaches uh, in a cubic equation. There are a lot of approaches. This is my approach with the factors. And then we find another parenthesis with this, with this division. A lot of students don't like this division, but we need to do this. We need to do this because we need to find another, another parenthesis. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, if you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. Also, thank you for your support, thank you, thank you everyone for your support, and see you in the next videos, have a great day, take care, and thank you.